Seven real deaths linked to video games. We've shown you some fairly crazy things associated with video gaming and the culture behind it before, but just like with any subject, things can and do get extreme pretty quickly. Although video games have become something of an unofficial global pastime, this otherwise fun escape from reality has often led to some haphazardly disastrous situations with very real results. From the irresponsible to the heinous, to the downright violent. Today, let's take a look at seven actual deaths caused by video games. Number seven, death of an actual child via a virtual child. An unnamed South Korean couple gave birth to an infant prematurely in 2010, which is bad in and of itself, but with the extra downfall of it being a social taboo in their native homeland. The couple, both residents of a suburb in Seoul, was said to have lost their will to live a normal life because they didn't have jobs and gave birth to a premature baby. After being shunned by society, the couple immersed themselves in a neighborhood internet cafe, playing a virtual baby raising game, reportedly only feeding their real daughter just once a day, often neglecting her for over 12 hour stretches at a time. Sadly, eventually passing away from prolonged malnutrition, the young baby was the depressing consequence of a debilitating online game addiction. Number 6. The Petrick Halo 3 Incident 17-year-old Daniel Petrick, an Ohio resident, had become obsessed with the online multiplayer game Halo 3. After his parents took away the copy of his game, the teen stole his father's keys opened a lockbox containing both the game and the family 9mm handgun, and proceeded to do the worst. Entering his parents' bedroom, he said, quote, Would you close your eyes? I have a surprise for you. Firing the weapon at the heads of both his mother and father, critically injuring his father Mark and killing his mother Susan upon impact, Daniel proceeded to take the game with him as he fled the scene. Courtroom evidence suggests he had been planning the attack for weeks eventually being found guilty of aggravated murder, attempted murder, and a host of other charges. Number 5. The Grand Theft Auto Inspired Crime Spree The massively popular open-world, crime-encouraging game Grand Theft Auto ran its creators, Rockstar, into legal troubles once again, this time as the center of a civil lawsuit. 18-year-old Devin Moore, an extremely avid fan of the game series, located in Fayette, Alabama, murdered three men in cold blood, including Ace Mueller, a 911 dispatcher, James Crump, and Arnold Strickland, two police officers, on June 7, 2003, when Moore was brought in on suspicion of car theft. Although he had no prior criminal history and was initially cooperative, Moore snapped while inside the station, grabbing the first officer's gun and administering several fatal headshots before fleeing in a stolen cop car. His decision to enact brutal violence as he had seen in the game was indeed darkly inspired. Number 4. Death by Halo Caused Blood Clot a 20-year-old Xbox enthusiast named Chris Staniforth of Sheffield, England, had a much less violent and or depressing death than some of the others on this list, but it remains a scary reminder of the physical toll gaming can put upon a body. Reportedly indulging in routine 12-hour sessions at a time, the Halo gamer collapsed shortly after he mentioned to a friend he was experiencing chest pains. According to his father, he dropped a packet of chewing gum and as he picked it up, he jolted back and began to spasm. The coroner later revealed that Stanifer's death was caused by a clot in the young man's calf that traveled to his lungs, killing him almost instantaneously. Also known as deep vein thrombosis, this dangerous condition reminds us all to just, you know, stretch a bit. Number 3. The Wee Water Death Sacramento-based KDN-DFM's Morning Rave held an on-air radio contest entitled Hold Your Wii for a Wii in 2007, encouraging about 20 contestants to see how much water they could drink before going to the bathroom with a brand new Wii awaiting the winner. The participants were given two minutes to consume an 8-ounce bottle of water every 10 minutes. One contestant, Jennifer Lee Strange, a 28-year-old woman competing in the contest, hoping to win the console for her two sons and daughter, reportedly consumed up to two gallons of water in an extremely short time period. 
After leaving the contest, she called in sick to work and was found dead in her home just five hours later from water intoxication. Facing backlash, the station was subsequently fined over $16 million. Number 2. The Xbox Filicide Warning, although this entry isn't quite our topmost, this may be the most disturbing of them all. 28-year-old Tyrone Spellman, a notoriously violent and temperamental individual and extreme Xbox enthusiast, was playing Ghost Recon when his infant daughter, Alaya, began playing with the cords on the console, knocking it over and accidentally breaking the unit. Sending the man into a rage, he began to pummel the young girl in the head, cracking her skull and throwing her across the room, according to reports. Spellman fled the scene while the mother was sleeping in a nearby room. Although he initially claimed the child had fallen off the bed, he confessed to his horrific actions and was convicted of third-degree murder, child endangerment, and faces up to 47 years in prison. Number 1. The Mere Three Stabbings Chinese gamer Qiu Chengwei lent his fellow friend Zhu Kaoyang a virtual dragon saber sword in-game on Legends of Mere 3 in 2004. Instead of actually using the virtual item, however, Kaoyan turned around and sold the digital item in an online auction house for 7,200 yuan. Cheng Wei, now furious, approached police and attempted to file a stolen property report, naturally being declined since the item didn't physically exist. Taking a perceived sense of justice into his own hands, he tracked his profiteering pal down and proceeded to sink a knife deep into his heart, killing him in an ironic fashion. Now awaiting death behind bars in a Chinese prison, Cheng Wei serves as a grim reminder of how everything, absolutely everything, needs to come in moderation. Thank you for watching Interesting Top 7s. If you love our lists, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for new videos every week.